Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this geometric cube pattern in Affinity Designer. This cube pattern is a relatively common pattern in geometric pattern design, and it is not too difficult to create. So as explained in my previous tutorial, in order to create a pattern in Affinity Designer, we first need to identify the core pattern that repeats itself for other composition. In this pattern I identified this pattern that I highlighted with a black rectangle, the key to a core pattern is that it must start on one side where it ends on the other side. So as you can see this core pattern starts on the left where it ends on the right and it starts at the top where it ends at the bottom. So this is what the core pattern will look like after we have created it and exported it. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. And then we go to View Guides, and we add some horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we make sure that Snapping, Snap to Guides, and Snap to Object Bounding Boxes, and Include Bounding Boxes Midpoints are enabled. And then we can start drawing the cube, so we are going to draw it with the Polygon tool. So we take the Polygon tool, we set the number of sides to 6, and we leave the curve as 0. We set the stroke as None, and we set the fill color to Red. And then starting from the middle of the composition, and while pressing Ctrl and Shift, we go ahead and we create an hexagon, and we give it around 200 pixels in dimensions. And then once we have the hexagon, we are going to create the three sides of the cube. So we are going to make it as if the light come from the top left side. So the top side of the cube is going to be of a lighter color, and the bottom right side is going to be of a darker color. So then we take the pen tool to create the three sides of the cube. And then we go ahead and we draw a shape from the top left side to the middle of the cube, to the top right side, to the top, and then back to the top left side. And then we set the fill color to a lighter shade of red. And then we press escape twice to unselect. And then we are going to draw the bottom right side of the cube. So from the bottom to the middle to the top right side, to the bottom right side, and then back to the bottom. And then we set the color to a darker shade of red. So now we have the three sides of the cube. We select all three elements and we press Ctrl G to group them together. And then with the move tool, we bring the cube a bit up so that we are sure that we have enough space. So now we are going to create three more cubes in order to create the core pattern. So one cube that goes here, to the bottom left, one here to the bottom right, and one here right at the bottom. So we press Ctrl J to duplicate the cube. We take the duplicated cube and we position it here so that its right edge matches the vertical axis. And here its top right edge must match the other cube, like this. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate it again and we position the other cube right on the other side. And then we we'll press Ctrl J once more, and we position the fourth cube right here, right at the bottom. Alright, so now we have all the cubes that we need in order to delineate the core pattern. In order to delineate the core pattern, we are going to take the rectangle tool, we set the field to none, and then we are going to draw a rectangle from the point here to the point here. So once we have done it, we select the rectangle, we make sure that it is positioned correctly. So now it is right at the edge of the cube. And here it must be right at the point here. So now the rectangle is in position, and we have our core pattern that is delineated. So now what we can do is that we can export it, to use it for a pattern field. So we go to File, Export. We can leave the file type as JPEG, as there is no transparency involved. And here as Area, we set it as Selection Area, to export only what's within the rectangle. And then we click on Export, to export it. So now that we have the core pattern that is exported, we can use it to do a pattern fill. So we go to File New and we create a new composition. And then we take the Rectangle tool, we set the fill and stroke to None. 
and then we go ahead and we draw a rectangle all over the composition. And then we take the vector float fill tool, we select the rectangle, and now we go here to set bitmap fill, and we select the pattern that we just created. And then we click on the composition, and this creates the cube pattern. And then we can adjust the handles to make the pattern bigger or smaller. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a geometric cube pattern in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!